Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be fishing down the man-made lake again, surprisingly. Um, I'll be down the maggots. I had a session yesterday where I caught five or six fish. I've put a little little small fish on down the, the margin with a pike float and that, trying to catch a pike. I had a take, went straight under, hooked it, flew down the lake, well obviously down the margin, and uh, come, come off when I put the, because uh, I left the, um, what's it called, the clutch off. So let the fish run if I get it. Uh, come flying off. Got it. So I'm back down there again. Sounds a bit bad. So back down there again to try and catch another one. So see how it goes. So it's a bit warmer today. Yesterday it was a bit overcast. Today it's, it's been quite sunny. Not many clouds out. There's only a few coming over. So fingers crossed I get one. And I'll see you down there when I set up. Right guys, I'm just setting up the pole gear and everything. Got the box in the water, leveled out. And um, I'm just gonna be flicking a lure in real quickly to see if there's anything about. Put the Polaroids on. I can see a fish. They're just over there. Have a little deep hole. Set the drags all right first. Nope, that is tighter than anything. Nope, nope. Yep. Let's just flick the lure out. Bring it in. Spook everything that's there, of course. Tell ya. Yeah. So, you know, guys, as well, all the pegs on the uh, lake was taken. There's only really two I can access, which is one in the just between the deep and shallow is where most of the pike are, and the disabled wooden peg. There's some people there, but I think they're gone now, but I've got everything in the water and rigged up, so what's the point? I can see them, but they don't want to bite. That was a rubbish cast. Absolutely shocking. I think I'm spooking by the weight as well. Might be the main problem. To be fair, there's no difference between the Polaroids on and not. That funny. Oh shit. Oh, got out the tree. There's not been a lot of reasons for it. Let's try it in the shade. Watch my butt. Let's try here under the tree. Not on top of the tree, I mean. Safe. Can't cast out no more. Used to be able to cast like a master of this rod. I have to do one rig to set the one side of that tree there and one in the other. Just like a deep pocket. Just tap it. So, this looks like a uh, roach this flow does, so I don't know why. It's a bit weird. Love each other, but it's Anything to be fair, I ain't caught anything on the river in the pole. So, yeah. The leaf stuck on it. Lots of sticks in that here, so not very good for the pole. Sugar. That's it, okay. so, that's it of course, below. So 
I could do have a UV style one, but I don't think it would do actually any good. I think it's just, what weight is this on here? 3.5 gram. Rel relatively light, but relatively heavy to be honest. Oh, what a cash. Got it on the leaf. It's on the stick now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to plumb the hole up in a second because I reckon I won't even make it to the hole because it's only an eight and a half meter obviously. Ooh. Getting very hard casting the rod already. Water on, I think. Soft scent doing it. Absolute mess of a gear here. So that's the UV one, guys. I don't think it would actually work. So it's a little bug. So Good job on it. I'll get that out ready. What other thing was going to get out? Ah, yeah. This golden shiny one should do the job. It's a cheap one I bought for like what? 4p. But really, really, really cheap. Let's get the light one on. Without hooking myself. The thing is, it's like a fly this is the cat, it's horrible. guys so now i've got all my gear set up i've got the everything here sorted out i've got the rigs plumbed up on the top kit i'm not going to attempt to get them out i've got the poles so uh, what currently we're having to do is because i'm actually the other side of the bank is actually eight and a half meters i didn't think that i've actually had to go to top kit plus four um to go out and these are quite large pieces so because it's obviously the president edge so yep so and uh, what i found out is if i can yeah i don't know if you can see but around the area i can't even tell because i ain't got my phone slick but yeah there's like a big deep hole where it'll go and it will just sink so i put it in the big deep hole imagining that's where the fish is and then i'll put it on the other side of the bank somewhere over there um it all the way out eight and a half meters full length straight to the other side of the bank to try it out and leaves just fill up the box so yeah fingers crossed i get some yeah, I've been, fe I've been feeding this one with some pellets and that, trying to get some shrubbing everything in here. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm obviously going to be using uh, maggots, but if anything it doesn't work, I've got my food because, yeah, give them a go. So, yeah, let's crack on. I'm going to put you on the chest mount and see if we can catch any fish. All right, I'm going to try it with one and see how that does, but we never know. It might be good, might not be good. And I'm going to try it with the, what's that? This is the short elastic. Right across to there in the big deep hole. So you need to go to my hole and try that. Right. Get it off the winded up elastic. <laughs> oh. This is not fun. Oh, I've actually hooked the elastic, I think. Damn it. Oh, no, I haven't. I just winded around the elastic. Can't even get it off. Yeah, the rig I'm using is a slim float and a what it looks like a size 14 hook. Right. Maggots open. Day old, they stink already. How fun. I'll chuck some of these in there to um, Don't you dare go in the water. Tap it again. Red on. So I'm gonna probably get attacked by minnows straight away. Which is no good, but oh well. I'll fly. Just gonna feed some maggots in there now. Get them in, I've got the maggots. Right, there we go. Just 
water in the top kit. It's actually got quite heavy elastic on as still. I only use heavy elastic. So oh, I've got water in my joint now, that's not good. So I brought a micro microfiber cloth, whatever you call it. Get the water out of that joint. I'm already getting attacked by my nose. Now there's leaves coming down in my swim. Fun. Actually, I ain't done river fishing before, so this is really awkward. So I see float moves. We'll add one then. For that quick bite. Foul hooked, that's no good. Perch, as well. Is it foul hooked? Yeah. Let's get it in. It's a problem with uh, that. Oh well. This is life, yeah. I think it's just tangled actually. Yeah, it's just foul hooked. Oh well. Shame it, shame it was a foul, oh, shame it's foul hook, let's get the camera straight. Shame it's foul hook, but no one's looking for it, anyways. Here we go. Shot off down the river. Oh, get it out of the net, man. Let's go again. awkward because the bank behind me is really really elevated it's hard for me to ship back in that but look at that all that coming out of there that is bad and we'll look at that it's tangled my look eh nasty tangle that is I see you guys when I'm back untangling Got it all entangled now, pain in the back side, but this is what it is. Got dirt at the top of my pole again, of course. Life. I'm not putting the top gun if it's making that sound. Where's my microphone? Watch these on. Back when we got our fish guys. Right guys, so I've just hooked another fish. Just letting it rest in the net. Get it out. Oh, don't go into my seat, silly. Just want to get out. Come on. Guys, it's now the end of the session. I've got to start packing up before it goes dark because the sun is like sun about to hit sunset. So, yeah, I've got two fish in the net that I've kept. 
and get them out without splashing me. Oh, let's get the perch. Got a nice big chunky perch. It doesn't wriggle. It doesn't look that big, but I'm gonna say put the size of my hand, roughly, roughly about half, half an ounce, but to be fair, half an ounce in this river is quite big. So yeah. I don't know the side of the bank. I don't know how it hooked on a size 20. Yeah. For a little perch. Spark up. Yeah. We'll release that one in a second. And I got chub as well. Got a nice little chub. Add that on the other side of the bank as well. Really shallow. Let's get the released. Another perch. Alright guys, I'm walking back now and um, I'm gonna say it's a pretty successful day for me. I caught fish, I didn't blank. Um I had about five though, so I caught fish, as I said, so yeah. I mean um all I need to learn is how to use the floats and everything properly in the river because I think you meant to use Olivet or something because the current takes it. But yeah, apart from that, happy days. Alright, see you in the next video.